Hello Aquarius, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the person that you're thinking about or connecting with at this time. What are they thinking about you? How do they feel about you? Um, how do they view this connection? How are they viewing you at this time? We'll also look at their intentions towards you and what do they wish they could tell you? So let's jump right in for Aquarius. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Aquarius, for Aquarius. Aquarius regarding love. What can Aquarius expect in love? Basically going to be looking at who and what is coming towards you in love, what you'll be dealing with. Okay, so the current situation, we have the devil. And the two of wands, Capricorn energy with the devil. Okay, and past energies or energies that are influencing the current situation. We have 10 of coins, reverse, page of cups, reverse. Okay, so disappointment. Interesting. Okay, how do you feel about this person? The sun reverse and temperance reverse, Sagittarius energy. I don't know what's going on with Sagittarius and Aquarius something's going on <laughs> and you don't have to be dealing with a Sagittarius but I find it interesting that this kind of energy comes up um yeah when it comes to this person I feel like in your mind they're either hiding something from you or you don't have clarity about them about the situation and so it kind of is complicating things how do they feel about you seven of coin reverse Five of Cups, Reverse, okay. I feel like in their mind, they've made some sort of mistake. Um, maybe they invested in the wrong thing. Maybe they put an effort in the wrong person or thing. Okay, and uh, what do you need to know? Any hidden factors? Nine of Cups, Reverse. Knight of Swords, Reverse. Yeah, there's something going on here with like, deception or just a lack of clarity not having all the answers something like that okay let's see future outcome or outcome in the near future ace of coin reverse and the fool interesting so a new cycle but maybe not necessarily something solid we'll have to see what that's all about I think I can move these up actually. Okay, and then the overall energy, the why everything is happening, the root, the eight of wands. Okay, so there's some sort of movement action that's probably moving things along here. But something's up, Aquarius. Um, I feel like the fact that we're starting with the devil and the two of wands, it's almost like this could go either way. So let's get some clarity here. Let's get some clarity, spirit, for Aquarius regarding these energies. What do we need to know? For Aquarius, what do we need to know? I also find it interesting that the why things are happening is the Eight of Wands. So something has already took place here, whether it's communication or action. There has already been momentum. If you're sitting there and there's no momentum whatsoever in your connection, even in the month of October, then maybe this won't be your reading. Uh, because I feel like because of this eight of wands is why everything here is happening so there's some sort of movement momentum action that has happened or is very close to happen um so let's get some insight here why is the eight of wands here why is the eight of wands here the empress What can you tell me about this Eight of Wands? Nine of Swords. 
stress, anxiety. Can I get one more for this Eight of Wands? Worry. Someone's worried, but why? Tell me about this Eight of Wands. Yeah, Eight of Swords, Nine of Swords. There's a lot of um, mental conflict here. Six of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Can I get one more for this Nine of Wands? What can you tell me about this? I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords. What can you tell me about the Nine of Swords? Why is the Nine of Swords here? I'm looking at this Eight of Wands. Six of Wands. Okay. Nine of Wands at the bottom of the deck. A lot of Wands. Okay. Um, interesting. So what I'm getting here is that someone's worried about either recognition or success, succeeding in something. Typically when I see the Nine of Swords with a card like this, it's almost like someone's worried about not being successful. Um, tell me about this Eight of Swords. Why can you tell me about the Eight of Swords? So whatever momentum this Eight of Wands is about, if it's communication, if it's actual like action, because the Eight of Wands could be, you know, quick movement or communication. So whatever this Eight of Wands is representing, I feel like someone's worried about it. Either they're worried that this is something's happening very quickly or something's coming through in communication that is worrying. We'll see if anything else comes out, but I feel like someone's really overthinking in their head about this. Now I have the King of Pentacles here, and then the Empress is the first card out. So the Empress symbolizes somebody who is, um, they have a lot of worth, they have a lot of value, they're very abundant, um, they tend to be a feminine energy. Uh, could be even a parental figure, um, someone that's very um, nurturing. But the Empress also symbolizes growth, creativity abundance you know planting seeds and having abundance and so i'm thinking that this is about success and creating something um rather than an actual person let me see if i'm right about this tell me about the empress spare what can you tell me about this empress the moon yeah there's doubts pisces energy someone's scared there is fear here. Nine of Swords, the Moon, Eight of Swords. This is mental. This is possibly even emotional. Maybe someone's wondering if there's a secret or having doubts about the growth of something, the move, the movement of something. So this could be you or your person worried about the state of your connection, about where your connection is headed, whether there will be growth, whether something will manifest. And there's a lack of clarity. Remember what I said with the sun reversed, knight of swords reversed. It's there's like something's hidden and that's the moon. So let's get into this. Why is the devil here with this two of wands? Why is the devil here with the two of wands? Seven of cups, again, confusion, the unknown, someone's not sure what to do, what choice they should make. Tell me about the devil and the two of wands. And I say someone because this is what's going on in your current connection. This is the energies between you and another person, the energies surrounding love. Tell me about the devil and the two of wands. Justice. Okay, so I just heard someone's worried about doing the right thing or worried about whether this is right. Is this right? Is this the right thing? Libra energy with justice here. I feel like there could be somebody that is feeling stuck with the devil and the eight of swords. Someone's worried, someone's stressed out because there's no clarity, because there's confusion about something here. Tell me about this seven of cups.
Tell me about the Seven of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so I think this is possibly a situation where someone's um, unsure about the longevity of something. Whether there's, you know, something here with commitment. Because I have the Ace of Coin reverse and I have the Ten of Coin reverse here. And this is kind of past energies or influences on the current situation. So there's something here with long-term commitment, commitment, stability, security. And it's wrapped around like confusion. Same here, Eight of Wands and the Empress. These are solid energies, you know, energies that, that kind of um, symbolize something ahead. You know, growth ahead, creativity, expansion ahead, movement, com communication ahead, right? Things are moving. There's action here, growth. But there, again, and so I'm starting to think that this is a situation where you or another person are just not sure of where the connection stands, where it's headed, whether it will grow, whether it will manifest, whether there is long-term success here. Tell me about Ten of Coin reverse with the Page of Cups reverse. If you hear any noise in the background, it's thunder. Tell me about the Ten of Coin reverse with the Page of Cups reverse. Five of Swords. So I feel like someone's, um, okay, the word I heard was game. G-A-M-E, game. Someone's being played or feels that they've been played. Five of Pentacles. Something hasn't been, someone hasn't been treated right. Once I saw this Five of Swords, that's what I thought. And it makes sense. The Page of Cups is reversed. This is like heartbreak and disappointment. Something doesn't feel right. Some Someone was not playing fair. Can I get one more for the Ten of Coin reverse and the Page of Cups reverse? Almost like this wasn't fair to you. Yeah, Ten of Swords. There could have been a betrayal, an ending, or some sort of separation here. And I, I don't think, you know, I think it was very difficult because I have the Page of Cups reverse and now the Ten of Swords um, with the Five of Swords. So whatever happened here between you and I'm assuming another person in a connection wasn't what you expected. Yeah, there's the Devil after the Five of um, Pentacles. I don't know if you could say that. In take energy of, especially with the Five of Swords and the Ten of Swords together. I mean, the Ten of Swords could be a card about being stabbed in the back, and then you have the Five of Swords next to it. Um, Yeah, 100%. That's someone stabbing you in the back, or someone taking advantage of you when you weren't looking, something like that. So let's look at the energies between you and this other person. Can we get some insight in to the energies between Aquarius and this other person? What do we need to know about the energies between Aquarius and this other person? All right, tell me about the uh, energy that Aquarius is bringing to this connection. Oh, I got two. Walking away and second chances. Hmm. Something more fulfilling. You're being given a second chance. Some of you are seeing what else is out there for you. Walking away from this connection. Maybe as you're walking away, someone's going to be asking for a second chance here. Okay, tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about the person that Aquarius is dealing with? What are their energies in this connection? Restoring balance. Okay, so balance is being restored. Harmony, stability. So this person could be trying to fix things. Um... Pure seduction at the bottom of the, de of the deck, if I could talk. Um, 
So this could be somebody that uh, is trying to, you know, restore the balance because of a physical connection or attraction that they have to you or because they're drawn to you, attracted to you. Um, so let's see what else we get here between you, this person. Okay, tell me about the sun reverse and temperance. Wow, the queen of swords and the sun. Clarity, understanding. The queen of swords doesn't play. If this is you, Aquarius, I feel like you're kind of um, over it or are just in protection mode. You know, you've drawn a boundary here perhaps because with temperance reverse, there's something that's not balanced. Um, and with the sun reverse too, it's almost like there's something off here. But maybe you're starting to see it clearly now. Tell me about sun, the sun reverse and temperance reverse. What do we need to know about the sun reverse and temperance reverse? Oh yeah, king of swords. The, yeah, there's, there's no... Um, if someone was confused, unsure in their head about something, I feel like this energy is like someone that's almost becoming very tough interested in the truth and clarity none of this bs of you know are we aren't we confusion you know wishy-washy energy like no anymore if that's what you were involved in before whether you wanted to be or not that's not the energy that you're interested in or dealing with now i feel like you want to get to the bottom of something um, or you just want to address something head on or head, is that the phrase? <laughs> and then let's look here at your person's energy. <clears throat> Tell me about the seven of coin reverse and the five of cups reverse. What's this seven of coin reverse with the five of cups reverse? The Chariot, Cancer Energy. What else? Tell me about the Seven of Coin Reverse and the Five of Cups Reverse. Well, the Five of Cups Reverse is somebody, yeah, this person is wanting to come forward and work on things. Cups Reverse is a card about recovery, um, recovering what you've lost overcoming uh, difficulties, overcoming disappointment. Can I get one more for the Seven of Pentacles reverse with the Five of Cups reverse? What else we need to know? The Hierophant, Taurus energy. You know, it's funny because it's like they want to come to you correct. And then there's the Three of Swords. But I almost feel like this is after all of this has happened. So after there's been disappointment, heartbreak, you know, whatever has happened between you that hasn't been great. Um, I feel like this person wants to come forward and, you know, and, 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 and put their best foot forward here. Yeah. Page of Cups, Three of Pentacles. I'm willing to work on things. Make an effort. So what do you need to know? Well, you need to know that the Nine of Cups is reversed with the Knight of Swords reversed, which when I see those two energies together, I think of someone that is not a great communicator, maybe even deceptive, and it's going to cost them. They're not going to get their wish granted, or it's going to come at a cost. Okay, Three of Pentacles showed up again. Okay, so let me ask my question. Okay, tell me about the Nine of Cups reverse with the nine knight of swords reverse. Why is the nine of cups reverse with this knight of swords reverse? Two of wands again. Tell me about the nine of cups reverse and the knight of swords reverse. You know what I think? I think Aquarius, if this is you making a decision, 
I feel like you're trying to make your decision about this person. Yeah, this offer that they, so when this person comes forward, I think you're going to try to, you're, you're going to have a tough decision to make because I think a lot of you are going to decide to either walk away <clears throat> for good or maybe give this person another another chance. Okay, one more for this uh, Nine of Cups reverse, Knight of Swords reverse, Ten of Cups. And that's going to appeal to your emotions. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. I think whoever comes forward with this offer, this Page of Pentacles, is probably going to be an emotional offer or an awful, an, oh my God, I can't talk. This Mercury retrograde has me like, in its grip. <laughs> so when this offer does come in with this page of pentacles, which is a very small offer, I feel like they're going to be appealing to your emotions or it's going to be an emotional offer. Um, and I feel it's because this person cannot give you something big. So emotions are very important here. Yeah, this is going to be someone coming in very like lovey-dovey, king of cups, ace of cups, page of wands. You could be dealing with a water sign, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. I have cancer, Pisces that have shown up here. Um, so where's all of this headed? Well, I can tell you the ace of coin is reverse. So if there is a big opportunity that someone's extending, or if this is like an offer of commitment that someone wants to make, it's either not happening or delayed. And there's the Fool, which is all about a new beginning, a risk, a leap of faith. So let's see what this is all about here. Tell me about the Ace of Coin reverse with the Fool. Why is the Ace of Coin reverse with the Fool spirit? Wow, the Tower. Okay, why is the Ace of Coin here reverse? with the full. Ten of Wands. Can I get one more? This Ace of Coin reverse with the full. Can I get one more, please? Ace of Coin reverse with the full. Nine of Cups. So I'll be honest with you, Aquarius. I see someone here dropping a burden and I mean, going after what truly fulfills them with the Nine of Cups here. And I feel like this is going to be shocking. Like this is unexpected. The fact that maybe you're doing this is surprising. Can I get one more about this tower? Why is the tower here? Oh my God, that's a lot. Wands, Queen of Wands, the Magician, wow. And the Five of Pentacles, wow. So this tower, again, I feel like someone's going after something. Oh, you look at the center. And then I feel like this is related to a loss. It's almost like I don't know, like I almost get the sense that this tower is someone going after something they've manifested. Um, and I honestly, it's going to leave someone out in the cold. That's kind of how I'm seeing this. So this could be you, Aquarius, because you do have the walking away card. Tell me about this nine of cups. What can you tell me about the nine of cups? Why is the Nine of Cups here? Three of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? Can you tell me about this Nine of Cups? King of Cups. Yeah, I, I you know. King of Cups. You could be having some a reunion with someone or meeting someone new. 
with this three of cups, king of cups. Another way I could take this is, you know, some sort of continuation of this energy up here, which is your person wanting to have some sort of a reunion with you, an emotional reunion with you. So I see both ways.